Hi, welcome. I'm Miki Tebeka and welcome to our series about Go interfaces. This time we're going to look at a function that counts lines in a file. And this file can be either compressed or not compressed. So at the beginning, we are opening the file. This is the known idiom of acquire a resource, check for an error, and defer releasing of the resource. And then we assign a variable R, which is an IR reader that equals to the file. Right, the file is a pointer to an OS file, but it implements the IR reader, so we can do that. Now we can check if the file name has a suffix of .gz, we assign R to gzip new reader. gzip new reader gets an IR reader and returns a pointer to a gzip reader, which also implements IR reader. And now we initiate, sorry, now we create a variable called LC, which is a line counter, and we use the built-in IO copy to copy into the LSC R. And you can see that copy expects an IO writer and an IO reader. The IO reader is our R, and LC is the writer, we'll see in it a bit. And finally, we return int of LC and nil for no error. So what this LC is? It's a line counter, which underneath is an int. But it implements a write method, which gets a byte slice and return an int and an error, meaning it implements the IO writer interface. And what it does, it go over the data, and if it finds a new line, it increments itself by one. Finally, we return the length of the data in nil, signaling that all the data was written without an error. We don't actually write the data, but we signal that writing was done. And this is why we can use LC in copy as a destination for as an I reader. If you look at an example, and this is an example test, you can do a line count of an uncompressed file, which has eight lines, and a line count of a compressed file, which has almost 7,000 lines. Let's run the test, and it passes. Thank you. See you next time.